Canada. And then an overtime win over Switzerland, scoring just two points. 5-3 goals per game in the tournament, allowing just 3.67. They've been a little tighter defensively than this German club, so something to keep tabs on today as we are underway on Friday. Two big ones later to come up there with them on the forecheck as well. Schaefer pins his man along the boards, comes back to the blue line. Hondell, nice move, picks his way into the high slot, throws it across. Quick shot at Fredell. Got a pad on that one. Is it time? He's been very good, but you watch what Germany's doing. You've got a high forward. Watch coach 16. He stays high. He knows he's going to be in a high defensive position. Now he becomes the offensive shooter. Goes from the high position, opens up for a beautiful one-time wrist shot. He, if he could have wound up and got a little more on that, he probably would have been able to elevate it for a better chance. Nicholas Hempel slides down from the point, drops it off. Hondell. Back to Hempel. That one. Rebound. They jam away. Just wide. Looks like a Slovakian player got high and wide. And here's this opportunity off a rebound. It stays loose. Tuss, nice job of keeping us alive. But you can see Thomas Kovic comes down, drops to one knee. Clear. Really good job in that situation. But he should have changed and got the stick earlier in the shift. Hold on. Into the slot. They'll throw it across. Skrcek, a great chance. Couldn't bury. Another at it now and Sturmont's there got enough of it with his left arm to keep it out opportunity so far Mikhail Svercek gets the puck behind the net and the little tic-tac-toe he misses the first opportunity he fans on it regroups it and he just he just can't find the opening high enough he was trying to go up under the bar but as the first shot he kind of fan on the first shot and that one he just wasn't able to elevate it as Sturman was coming across and he's quickly picked up Hondell has that stick now out there plays it up the right side Lewandowski on to it. Dillhoff behind the net. Throws it right in front. That's off the post. Lewandowski, a glorious chance. So really well for Germany through the neutral zone. And then just this little bit of a missed pass. It slides off the stick. And then it's like, all right, the play is dead. And then uh, wrong. The play isn't dead. It's brought right back out in front. And a quick little give and go. And it's off the post. Here's the speed and the quickness you can see of Dustin Dillhoff. He comes out. And that's a quick play from behind the net. Another opportunity just to put the puck deep and play down deep. Oh, no. Everybody wants to make the extra pass, the extra play. Oh, you're walking in with a shot that's high. Another one and they score. Stun the netminder. He's going to go make a case to the official. Adam Goyer stuck with it and bangs home his own rebound. Lucas Sturman was looking for a whistle after it hit him in the face, in the, in the face mask. An international play. This was an automatic that if you, got, if you got hit in the face mask, the whistle was blown dead. But it starts with the turnover at the offensive zone by Germany. Oh, no. And then the second turnover in the zone again with a weak clear. And here's the shot. It gets up and catches him on the right side of the head. And as it hits him in the mask, he pulls in and he's realized you can see the mask loosens as the flap comes off. You can see the back strap is off the mask as it pops. And normally, in the international game, the whistle blows automatically. Hi. Brought in Hovan. Straka back up top to Zubek. Throws it left side. Skircheck, a quick look back oh, door of beauty. That's oh. Oh. Wow. Tack back of the net. When the seam is there, you take it. And there were two seams. Went back and forth twice. That's a beautiful play. Great finish by Slovakia. This is something you don't normally see is, the, is when a team gives up the lanes. The idea of the penalty kill is to close the lanes, and it starts up high, and it's going to come across once. There's one, there's two. Nice oh. little one-touch pass to the back door, and Strack is not going to miss that one. This is a beautiful, well-executed three-way passing play. It's nice when you watch a power play, especially this age. It's not in Slovakia looking for that third goal. They get the third one. And they've got it right off the faceoff. Sverchek sneaks one through Sturman, and it's three. Nothing Slovakia. I'm gonna, I'll finish my sentence. I said they get the third one. That could really, really take the wind out of the sails for Germany. That's a nice faceoff win. Well set up. When you put the player behind you as a centerman, you say, you go right here. I'm going to win it back. And you get a quick shot like that. Correct. Doesn't miss on the shot. Straight back, rolling puck, little backhand to forehand, and a quick release. Went through a little bit of traffic. Not sure Sturman picked it up right off the stick. But you can see his body language. It's like, oh, can't believe it. That's a tough one to give up. But 
and they are able to kick it out. I was taking a look. That back-to-back -back bronze in 97 and 98 for Slovakia. Quick shot there, and they score again. Chapos this time, 4-0 for Slovakia. Germany's just overwhelmed on this shift. They had the puck a few times, and they weren't able to, to get it down the ice. Yes, they were able to clear it over the blue line, but they're still just a step and a half behind now on this shift. And here's another one. You can see all the blue jerseys coming back on the puck. They're just all over the puck, hounding the puck. Germany's standing up straight, watching. And then they're, I think that third goal really put them back on their heels and kind of deflated things. But nice play by Kazda. Once again, the youngster. Pulls up, finds the late man coming in. Nice shot, but in Germany, here's the timeout again. We saw this yesterday against, didn't want to play in international tournaments because they're good enough that if you slip a bit, they're going to beat you, and Gabrick was that type of player. Now here's a turnover, a chance for Germany, and they get on the board. Lev Pierre Gable finishes it on a nice feed from Bill Hoff. Timeout works. It did work. Bill Hoffs, there's the guy you want to bring energy to your team. You talk, get it up quick, but it's the turnover right here. Just quick underneath. He gets in, gets the puck. That's a really nice play by Dustin Will Hoffs. Just kept his feet moving. No quit in the play. Look at his feet are going. Takes about four strides. Gets up. Uses his, his diminutive size to get it underneath to create the opportunity to make the pass. And Zerge will just quickly releases it up and under the bar. See if this full zone was bobbled. They'll get it right back to him on the near board. This time he'll just hammer it in. Turned over in the corner. Sent out front and they got another one. No mistake there. Griva goes far down. And Rehard Griva has his second of the tournament. Get in on the four check. Create the turnover. A little sloppy play behind the net. For again, pushing it. Just get the puck deep. And here's your miscommunication. I've got the puck. Whoop. Probably should have reversed it, knowing that there was going to be nobody there. And that's where your D, this is a learning moment. Fredell's like, should have reversed that, but probably nobody telling him where to go with the puck. Nobody communicating. And he gives it away. And he's not able to get back as Riard's Grieva goes bar down. His brother set him up. That's five minutes. They've uh, they found it again, which is nice to see. Straco though. Has a man ahead, flips it up, Komic walks in, and he'll bury it for Slovakia. 5-2 with fifth place within their grasp now. That's difficult when your net's empty and you lose a draw and you lose possession and you've got everybody on one side of the ice. Slovakia It's almost a set play. It's throw it around and one player take off and really stretch the zone. It's exactly what they did. You don't have possession of the puck, and you can see the goal scorer coming. He comes through the circle, and he just takes off. It's like, oh, we've got the puck. One guy go, and we'll see if we can get it up high in the zone. That's exactly what they do. Executed perfectly off a face-off win. Germany had an excellent start to this game, but that push at the beginning didn't lead to anything for them, really. Yeah, they, absolutely. Their first 10 minutes was the best first 10 minutes of the tournament, but they weren't able to capitalize, and... Just ran out of gas in the third as Slovakia turned it up.